Hi, I'm Michael Devine, and I'd like to welcome you to my painting studio. Over the next few months, I'll be working on a new painting on this canvas behind me, and I'd like to invite you along on that journey with me. Um, over the past, you know, 20 years of my painting career, I've been asked some pretty similar questions over and over. And those questions include, where does my inspiration come from? Uh, what is my process? You know, what is my creative process? What goes into making a painting? And really, I think one of the, the most important is where do I even begin? Uh, which thread do I pick up first? So I'd like to use this time to answer some of those questions and let you in on some of that process. The first seeds of this idea were planted while I was in New Zealand in January of 2016. And I was talking with a friend there about the sort of symbiotic relationship of everything that surrounds us. You know, how it all just flows in and out of each other, one thing becoming the next and so on, and how to express a bit of the richness of that dance. At the time, I was working on this altarpiece for a little chapel there. I was working in this beautiful studio that looked out on gardens and rolling fields and forested hills and, and I think in that kind of space, those wide open blue skies and the blossoming thick of New Zealand summer, I could really taste the synergy between all of the plants and the birds and the bugs and the crazy loud cicadas, everything just all dancing together. So I thought about that and what it would look like if it were a painting, that emotion and movement, that idea of this flowing organic orchestra of life all interwoven in this enveloping sort of way that at the same time is quite precise. This jewel-like experience almost of life reflecting life. I began with working on some smaller sketches and piecing together little ideas of it and thinking about how the momentum of the piece would work. From there I turned my attention to working on a more focused pencil drawing where I can get a feel for the main components while slowly refining, sketching, and just broadening the other ideas. In the pencil drawing, I moved on to working in ink, which more precisely captures that frozen moment in time. And this really gives me a sense of where I'm going with it. And all of that preamble, all the sketches and thumbnails and stuff, adds to the final vision of this idea because it helps me focus the, the various disparate threads of the piece, because now I've been ruminating on this idea for over a year and using the various tools I have to translate this in this narrative that I've chosen to explore. Of course, I don't want to just illustrate an idea. I want to maintain that sense of movement and discovery and spontaneity along the way, because I think that really breathes a lot of life into a painting. That exploration is what gives each piece that real sense of immediacy, because it's all happening in the now, not just a planned out idea that I'm coloring in. It's really being birthed in the moment. So I hope you'll join me on this little jaunt into the creative realms. It's really the first time I've ever opened up my studio into a world like this, and I look forward to sharing a little of my creative process along the way. Uh, I'll be posting live videos on Facebook and YouTube and elsewhere, and I really look forward to sharing this experience with you. Thanks so much for joining me.